Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Crumbling Overview. This looks very interesting, especially that we have this trend of roguelikes being very stale and not innovating the platform whatsoever, though this title seems to be changing some things up. <laughs> So Crumbling is a roguelike adventure platformer game where you're gonna discover a magical world created by Mr. and Mrs. Crumble containing various childhood-like action figures that need to fight against nefarious toy-making corporation Boss Corp. Immediately I'm trying to crack the code what's the actual mechanics of the game cause the devs specify you steer the character with one hand and then it fights with stuff around in a hacker slash combat scenario though the main question is how things connect with each other normally games like that would be played with a third person perspective which is here but you'd be steering them like a toy with a remote although they had their own set of behaviors and patterns so here in this case I'm kind of afraid there's gonna be a discrepancy with your hand and fighting with the monsters since nowadays it's not necessarily a natural way of interactions so if this thing could be done well then it's kind of like a game changer for the whole genre. It doesn't necessarily remind me of anything we have on the store. We have an upgrade system with enhancements and all of those roguelike like ideas we we're already familiar with. The whole perspective will be very much punched in so it's leaves us on a more simple side of the graphical department but our style seems to be very pleasant and kind of adequate to the whole title. I'm just very intrigued about the mechanics cause I expect to have some sort of a auto aim going on cause then it's just gonna be impossible to connect with anything but then it's gonna be a little bit awkward that something in your hand is moving out of your control unless there's no guidance whatsoever and then you precisely need to aim at the target it's a la Yuki style of some sort. I don't know, the whole thing is very intriguing and I can't wait to play this. I would never think of a concept like that, so kudos to developers for creating something rather unique at this point. Let's go crumbling. <laughs> Welcome to the famous Crumbled Crafts and Comics. Can you smell the adventure? But the store is closed. What happened? It doesn't seem like we have turning at all. Huh? What do you know? A coin just lying about. Ah no. Is this platformer stuff with the rotation? The latest edition of Crumbling, the popular comic. This must be a brand new release. In a small town far, far away, there's a wondrous store called Crumbles Crafts and Comics. And children from all over the world flock to Crumbles in the hope of getting hold of one of their fabled toys, the Crumblings. For decades now, Mr. and Mrs. Crumble have been creating their toys with love and passion and just a little bit of magic. Each and every crumbling is imbued with this marvelous substance. Where does it come from? It's the crumble's most well-guarded secret. With it, the plucky little crumblings spring to life, ready yeah! for adventure. Every child that gets their hand on one gleams with joy, and nothing compares to these magical toys. Of course, such success does not go unnoticed. I like how I wanted to turn the page by grabbing, but it's just the movement. <laughs> I think. Okay, well. You should try and find those pages. Click. Looks like there's some magic flying over that bottle. I mean, the graphics aren't crazy, but. You should bottle that magic. It's not like the game goes for that aspect. But there is a discrepancy between the, I suppose, interactable stuff and the actual environment. Let's fill this bottle up. So 
some weird interactions. Just a little bit of magic. Cool. <laughs> It's point and click though, no motions or whatever. The crumbling finally unleashed. Okay, so literally we have it in the hand and then we turn it however we want. It should be interesting. Find out how all this works. What's with that worm? Let's put it back together. Let's see. Where is that trigger button? Yeah, it seems like we have full control. See? He's like stopping as well when we commence the attack. Wow, that sounds special. Is this button? There is an actual aim though. It's lining up to the closest enemy. Okay, evade at just the right moment. What's the difference with between moving though? This. Maybe in some intense situations. Smash. Easy for a crumbling. Oh. Interesting. Let's reclaim some magic from those monsters. Because the damage is definitely lower. There is some magic to be collected. There are also limits to the world, so it's not like we can move him anywhere we want. I don't like this attack movement because then I lose control over him. The crumbling reclaims some of the stolen magic. Good to be back. That's kind of cute, I suppose. Oh, let's get this little guy out of that crummy. What now? This should do the trick. Choo choo. <laughs> Oh. 
How exciting. What is happening here? Ah, the portal is opening. <coughs> Onward. Oh, oh. Mm. Something's off with that cow. Ew. It's very straightforward, like once you get a hold of the controls then you're free to go. Are we there yet? Here they come. Those are some shiny horns. I definitely way prefer to launch my own attacks. Crumble. You can kind of get tired by the hand movement. Spike ball deals. <laughs> it's not like I can arm it by myself. It's like avoiding them on purpose. Trying to dodge with a button though. They crumble before the might of the crumbling. <laughs> what? Some stuff are happening. <laughs> In the headquarters of Burza Corp, the world's largest plaything manufacturer, the mood is not so cheerful. Revenues have been steadily plummeting, and the latest creations of its infamous boss, Boris Borisov, seem not to be meeting a ready market. Adding insult to injury, the henchman brings news about the successful toy makers, Mr. and Mrs. Crumble. It's their magic, he finds, that makes their toys so very popular. A powerful elixir that only they possess. And in large amounts on top of that, a threat indeed to the entire business of Burza Corp. But cunning Boris Borisov already has a plan. The magic means profit, and it will put Burza Corp back on its feet. And thus the henchman is sent to steal <laughs> the precious stash. What the?
at this cash register you can buy upgrades. A collectible that lets you come blink starts with more max health. Ah, okay, so it's like for the every run. Click. I would appreciate having like a full list. But that's fun. Okay, I think we'll end here. I have a good grasp of the game. Love the carpet though, I <laughs> didn't notice it. <laughs> I don't really have much feedback because the game is very concrete and set in its own concept. Maybe polish out a little bit the environment in the store. But besides it, the game is pretty solid. I was a bit afraid of the mechanics, but they do make sense. They're not hard to understand. And I can definitely see myself playing this more. However, it's also a little bit simplistic, so it's definitely catering to every audience. But I like the dev's decisions here. It might be a little bit easy to learn, hard to master kind of thing. And I'm sure there's gonna be way more stuff happening looking at the shop itself. Overall very decent, something I've never played before like that, so it definitely seems to be a success here.